Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a day or so ago, I posted a video letting you know about issues with the latest patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 22H2, which um, was KB5026372. And um, I'll leave a link to that video down below. Um, but just to do a quick recap for today's video, um, there were reports that this update um, is breaking VPN connections. And what it's doing is it's causing, um, obviously, slow, slow download and upload speeds if you are using a VPN connection after applying this update. And uh, um, the update is also failing to install and was generating error codes. But you can check out that information in that video. Now, there is some more information um, that has come to light. And just to let you know um, that apparently the problems did start with this update. KB5025305, which was um, the April 2023's optional bug fix update that rolled out for Windows 11 22H2. And as many of you would know, um, a lot of the fixes and improvements are carried over into the next patch Tuesday update from the previous optional update. So it's no wonder that um, the issue started here and then moved into the the most recent Patch Tuesday security update. Now, um, some more information is that, um, interestingly though, um, the download and upload speeds are not affected um, if you are using a wired connection, only if you are using Wi-Fi. So that's something that we didn't know previously. So it's only affecting Wi-Fi connections and not... Um, hardwired connections as I would call them and uh, another thing is that although um, these issues are not mentioned by Microsoft as a known issue on their health dashboard and uh, Microsoft um, has mentioned to a bleeping computer um, which is an online media outlet um, that um, they are aware of the issue and is looking into it quote unquote so although it's not a known issue Microsoft has mentioned that they are aware of this issue and are looking into resolving the issue. Now at this stage, as I have mentioned previously, um, although it's not um, advised because obviously um, security updates uh, do bring important security fixes to the operating system, if the negatives are outweighing the positives, then obviously you can always uninstall the update and um, just make sure though that you do pause the update as it will um, try to reinstall itself after you've uninstalled it. That will resolve the issue until um, Microsoft does roll out a fix and uh, um, at this stage um, we hope they do that sooner than later because they haven't said exactly when they are rolling out a fix just that they are looking into it but we hope that the fix does roll out um, sooner than later hopefully um, in the next optional bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2 which will um, start rolling out sometime next week uh, in the fourth week of this month May and uh, um, obviously if anything does change and um, more information is um, provided. I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.